In the last episode, I talked about how I wanted to make some small adjustments to my world, things like custom trees and little bits and bobs here and there. But then I took a look at the recently built Webby Castle and thought, this color palette doesn't really fit in with the rest of my vibe. And then I looked at the rest of my world and thought, this color palette is very boring. So I decided that I'm going to change both of those things. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Webby Ketchup, and welcome to episode 20 of my Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play series. Now, changing the color palette of basically my entire world is going to take a lot of new materials, so instead of boring you all with a long and drawn out material gathering montage, I've decided to show me gathering one of every material that I'm going to need to make this happen. Wow, I'm sure that that was so cool and super interesting and super long. Anyways, um, let's get started with this revamp. So here is everything that I've gathered so far. Am I probably going to need more of every single material? Yeah, probably. But for now, this is what I'm going to start with for what I have planned for the so-called Webby Castle. I tried to go out of my comfort zone and use colors that I normally don't use, such as warped wood and prismarine, but honestly, the blue is just not really doing it for me. I mean, I love it, but I don't think that it really fits in with this world just because everything in my world is obviously super, super pink, and I want to kind of keep that trend going. I've also come to realize that the ombre effect that I have trying to go on here doesn't really work that well, and so yeah, I think I'm gonna honestly take out like all of this and start over, which is really unfortunate because I spent an entire episode gathering a whole bunch of materials for that build, and I'm not gonna be using any of those materials in this new roof style. Gotta love hindsight, am I right? But yeah, I'm unsure if I'm going to start with the roof or if I'm going to start with doing little additions around here. I have been thinking about adding in a fountain here, which I think could look super, super cool. Um, so honestly, I think I might start with that. So I've gotten everything that I need in order to build this. So we are going to start right here. I've extended this out just a little bit. And this, I believe right here is going to be our center. And we are going to base everything else around it. All right, and here is the finished fountain. I think that it works really well in the space. It may be a little bit too tall because I feel like sometimes it might block uh, the view. Let me see what it looks like from afar. Okay, from right here, actually, it looks pretty good. Let me see what it would look like if I go up here more. Okay, yeah, never mind. I definitely think that it works with the space. Okay, yeah, even from down here, I think that it definitely works. So I am very, very happy with this. So now with the fountain done, I am kind of wanting to start decorating down here because right now it's just a little bit too plain and boring for me. And I feel like right here is a really good place to add in a tree. It's got a lot of open space. So I think I'm gonna add in a tree here. Now, the thing is with me and custom trees is that I am not really good at building them. I haven't built too many of these um, in my lifetime, so we're just gonna kind of wing it and hope for the best, but I'm really not expecting too much to come out of this. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Honestly, I think I like it. 
It's very small, but I think the bushiness of the leaves really helps make it look a little bit bigger than it actually is and I'm really happy with it and that actually did not take me as long as I thought it would. Now I think I might want to add another one right here. Oh, I hear monsters. There is a cave under here that I have not covered up so yeah, um, it's okay but uh, yeah, I think that one looks really good and I think it would also be pretty cool if I added another one like right here. So let's just kind of start on that. Okay, and here is the second one, and I think that this one also came out really, really cute. Um, what if, hang on, I just make that like a double trunk? Mm, no, okay, nope, never mind. Definitely like it more as the single trunk there. What if I just take that out and do something like this because it is quite a smaller tree? Um, I think that might be better, but now I feel like it's hanging off a little bit too far on this side, uh, but I don't have any shears to fix that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna fix that later. But for right now, I think that that is pretty good. I think if I leave it like that, that might be okay. Um, actually, let's, yeah, okay. Yep, that's, that's a little better. Okay, yep, I think that's good. So I think I'm going to be building a couple more of these trees right here and then possibly right here as well. There are some trees already over here, but I think adding another one here and here would look really good. But I want these ones to arch more over the path because I think that that would look super, super cool. So I'm going to get started on those and I will see you all once they are complete. All right, so I've gotten in three new trees. So the last one that we just did is this one up here because I just felt like this area kind of here was kind of lacking something. So I thought adding a tree would be a good addition and I think it really works. And I love all of the particles coming down. This is why I love the Cherry Grove biome so much. And then of course we have this tree right here. And then also this tree over here. I think that's all the custom trees I'm going to add for now, but I was looking at a replay mod and I noticed just right here, this whole like hill thing is just not really working for me. So I have an idea and I think I want to kind of create like not a cavern. I, I cannot think of the word for this but like I want to dig out some of this but then like leave oh my gosh I have no idea how to describe what I'm doing but I want to build a pond in here but like on the ground level like down here um I yeah I have no idea how to describe exactly what is going on in my brain um so instead I think we're just gonna go for it hopefully my vision makes sense Okay, so now that I've got this kind of U shape going on, I want to try and texture it with all of these stone materials here, just to kind of give it like a rocky edged formation, kind of similar to what I did over there in that little mine entrance. So I don't really have a plan for this. I think I'm just gonna kind of start by filling in some of these gaps and then just kind of seeing where this all takes me.
Okay, so now that that is mostly textured, I want to go ahead and start carving out where this pond is actually going to be. And I'm just going to start by taking out the stone because all of this is going to be pond anyways. I'm planning on this being pretty big, so we're just going to start by taking that out. And now we're going to go in and carve out the grass. So now that I've mossified the entire pretty much of the pond, I am going to start filling it in so that it could also just get rid of all of the extra foliage. All right, and as the sun is beginning to set, here is the finished pond. I guess I don't have any sea pickles left because I couldn't find any in my inventory, but wow, you guys, this looks so freaking beautiful, especially with the lanterns. Oh my gosh, I am like in love with this area. So I've been looking at some of the hilly parts like right here and right here that I want to keep nature-y but obviously I feel like need just a little bit of work and I've kind of come up with a plan. And I got my inspiration honestly from just like right here. Um, these rocks with the flowers and bushes surrounding them honestly just looks so pretty to me and I feel like it will bring in that nature -y vibe that as much as I was trying to not necessarily get rid of but minimize I feel like bringing in some of that will give it this new type of nature vibe that I don't really have here. I think adding in some rocks and some flowers and bushes onto this hill along with some terraforming as well as I think probably mossifying most if not all of it and adding in some more like rock type parts like I have here would make it look just so much more I don't know cool because right now it's just like the standard like basic landform and I want to kind of texture it a little bit to be like my own custom hill. So I'm going to use a test spot right here and just try and see what I can come up with and then if I like it I will transfer it over to the big hill. So even though I just put all of my materials away it's time to get them out again. Okay, yeah, I think that this will work out really well once I transfer it to over there. Yeah, ooh, I'm so excited. I know I didn't mossify this area. Honestly, I kind of forgot and kind of jumped the gun and started with the rocks here, but I do think I'm going to do a lot of moss patches over there just to, you know, kind of break up all of the dirt that's going on. So I think that's what I'm going to start with, except for the fact that I have forgotten my bone meal. So I will be right back. So let's just start here and see what we get.
Okay, the sun is setting once again, and I feel like this gives a really good show with the lighting of just what I've done here, and I think that it looks super, super cool. I really like all of the rock formations I did and all of the like decorative rock like wall type of things, especially what I did down there at the river. And then of course, with all of the bushes and flowers, I think that this looks so cool and it definitely adds just a more, what's the, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. I have been forgetting my words today, but it just adds such like a customized vibe to this area and I love it. And now it's time for the big project. So like I mentioned earlier, I am just kind of not really vibing with the roof of my house. It just, you know, I wanted to try it with the blue, but I honestly don't feel like it fits in because everything else is just so incredibly pink and I don't have any blue literally anywhere else besides like water. Um, so I definitely want to change it. So in the shulker box here, I think I have everything I need. I don't know if I'm going to need more of this, uh, depending on if I do like the entire roof today, which I'm planning on doing. I do also want to fix or I guess adjust some of the other roofs to add some more color to them, but I'm hoping that just for my house, this will be enough. If not, I can always grab more. These materials were honestly fairly easy to gather, so I'm not too worried. But now I think it's about time that we head up to the roof. All right, I think really the only thing I have left to do, I don't have that many trapdoors. I only made six right now. I definitely could make more, but it's fine. Um, so I think really the only thing I have left to do is to just like destroy this bit by bit and then just start replacing it with crimson. Okay, so at least for the front, I've finished replacing all of the borders with crimson. So now I'm gonna go in and start redoing this little ombre pattern with my new color palette. So I finished this entire half of the front, so now I am going to go and finish the other side in a time lapse and finish the back off camera, so I will see you when this part of the build is all done. All right, so I have finished the main roof in the back of the build. And so now what I think I'm gonna do is just do a quick time lapse and finish out this roof here and part of this roof here, just because they both are kind of connected to this roof. So I feel like just doing them now and making them blend together would be a really good idea. So I'm gonna get started on that. So let's roll the clip. Okay, let me just say that when the sun is rising, oh my goodness, this build looks absolutely amazing. I am so glad that I decided to change up the color palette because this is honestly just like screaming like cherry grove. Oh 
my goodness, I am absolutely obsessed with this. I cannot wait to transfer this type of color palette to the rest of my buildings. I definitely want to include some amethyst in a couple of these because I have included it. You can't really see it because of the sun, but over there and that build as well, I've included amethyst and I really, really like it. But unfortunately with this palette, the amethyst just really wasn't working in too well. But honestly, I still absolutely love this and I definitely want to include amethyst more around my world because I've got it so featured down here. I kind of want to bring more of it to the rest of my world as well as the crimson wood because also I have crimson wood over here and I don't think I have any over here. I think it's literally just in this area and I feel like it would just tie in the rest of the world so, so nicely. So yeah, this is what the build is looking like so far. The only thing I have left to do is to fix over there by like the patio. But yeah, it's time to head over to our little balcony patio and get get to work. All right, and here is the finished patio. It looks really, really cute with all of the crimson. I, like I said earlier, I'm so, so glad that I decided to make the switch because it just feels so much more pink and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. So like I mentioned earlier, I do want to include some amethyst in the roof patterns of the builds that I'm planning on at least just touching up a little bit when it comes to the roof patterns. So. I've come up with a new kind of color palette that includes amethyst and I think that it looks super cool. And here it is, so it goes from crimson planks all the way down to amethyst. So really the only thing I changed is I just added a purple right after the uh, cherry planks here because they do fit fairly well together. So I think this color palette will look really, really cool. And I feel like using any combination of these would look super cool in my world. So let's say I have a smaller roof and it would only use about four colors, but I know I want amethyst in it. I could start around the cherry wood area and go up to the amethyst. Or let's say that if it's a bigger roof, I can pretty much do the entire thing here. I'm kind of upset with the fact that I didn't come up with this earlier because I literally just redid my entire uh, roof, but you know what? It's fine. I want to keep it. I like the fact that it is just purely pink, so we're going to leave it, but to include amethyst around the rest of my world because I do have some purple spotted around here and there, I think this color palette will work very nicely. Now, I don't know exactly which roof to start with because I'm going to be redoing my barn, my horse stable possibly my wizard tower over there, and the villager breeder. But I'm unsure of which one I want to start with. I think I'm gonna go with the villager breeder over here because it's just so lonely over here. I will promise that I'm gonna be getting more builds around this area very soon. It's just going to be a big project and I don't really wanna tackle it yet, but I think starting with the villager breeder would be a good place. Also, I destroyed my door a while ago. Um, and now it's just kind of like a grass block and a trap door. We're not going to talk about it. I just literally keep forgetting to um, fix it. So yeah, that's where we're at with that right now. We're just going to ignore it because I don't feel like making a door right now. No, I definitely have doors over there in my windmill, but I don't feel like going over there and getting them. So we're just going to pretend like that doesn't exist. Okay, so I've made a decision on how I'm going to do this because I was just kind of going in here blindly, but because the villager breeder and the barn have a trim of cherry, I think I'm going to leave out the amethyst and purple on those and just do the exact opposite pattern that I did here. So basically, instead of starting with the crimson and going into the cherry, I'm going to start at the cherry and go into the crimson, if that makes any sense. And then on the wizard tower, especially because this building right here has amethyst in it, I'm going to include amethyst in this building and also my horse stable. So it'll be a little bit of a switch up. So some will have amethyst and some won't. And I think that will be the perfect balance of amethyst to not amethyst. 
So let's get to building. Alright, that's one down and three to go. All right, that is two down and two more to go, which means now we are going to start incorporating the amethyst. I totally forgot about the fact that I am including amethyst and purple in this one, so I have to redo this. Um, great. All right, this one is done, and now all that's left to do is my wizard tower over there. But I actually think I want to change this one up even more. So as you've probably noticed, this type of wizard tower and this type of wizard tower are very different, and I really like this wizard tower formation a lot more. I don't know, it's just everything about it I like a lot more than this one. Now I'm not going to change this one completely, what I'm going to do is just add in another like white section and divide it up how I did right there. So just to make it a little taller because I feel like with this build it's just a little too thick on the bottom and then there's barely any like thinner part on the top and then it just goes roof. And I feel like adding another layer to this would look really really good. So let's get the rest of the materials that I'm going to need and then we will get started. Okay, can I just say, I love this tower so much more now. Oh my gosh. There was, I don't know, for me there was always something that was just a little bit off about it and I definitely think that it was the roof and like the short white part. I really think that extending the white part has made it just look 10 times better and now I am like back to being absolutely obsessed with this tower. I. I'm so glad that I made this change and also the roof looks really good. You can't see it from down here but the amethyst obviously is included. I think if I get a further view I'll be able to see it a little better. Okay so this view is good but it's a little far away but you can really see like all of the changes I've made and you can basically see my entire world from up here and oh my goodness I love all of the roof changes. It just feels so much more pink and bubblegum and oh my gosh I am absolutely obsessed with it but I kind of have an idea that I want to go try really quick. Oh yeah I cannot believe that I have not made a spyglass until now but oh look at it oh my goodness I love it so much. Let's look at everything else. Okay we've got that that didn't change. We've got ooh that one I really like the color palette of this one. I'm not even gonna lie. I really, really like this one here. And then we've got our barn. Ooh, so cute. And then we've got our villager breeder, which I have not used in so long, by the way, but uh, the villagers are like overflowing, um, but it's fine because I'm gonna need a lot of those probably very soon. So um, yeah, oh, 
look at this this just this right here this is just like amazing i i am so glad that i decided to make this change because i'm obsessed i love it i love it so so much all right so now with all of the roofs done i just want to go around and add a little bit of a finishing touch and it's not going to be anything crazy i just want to kind of bone meal this area to make it just a little more fun and not so plain eventually i do plan on adding little things in this area but i don't know what i'm gonna add yet so for now we are just gonna roll with the bone meal all right and there we go just kind of bone mealed up a little bit added in some more petals and of course there is <laughs> that guy just wandering around i feel like there's literally always one here but it's fine whatever um yeah i think it just adds a little bit more detail um like i said i'm definitely going to add in some actual like not structures but just little decorations here but for now i think that this works out really really well and yeah, just by the way it's looking so far, I am super happy with it. Now, before I go, I'm going to hit you all with a little before and after time lapse. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I also really hope you like all of the changes that I made to this world because I am super, super happy with them. I hope to see you in my next episode and I will catch up with you guys later. Bye!